Coach, season opening win versus Radford, 3-2. Talk about tonight's game. How are you feeling about the performance? Very, very happy uh, overall. Um, as you say, extremely important to start the season off uh, on a successful note. Um, so very happy with the result itself. Um, uh, the, the first goal in the game was key, and, and sort of you know 20, 25 minutes in, for us to for us to get that really settled our nerves a little bit. Prior to the goal, um, we were playing with a lot of enthusiasm and, and a lot of gusto, but we were rushing things a little bit. Um, uh, although although we did have some very good counter attacks uh, that were well executed, uh, apart from the finish prior to the goal. Um, but. But once we got the first goal, it settled us down a bit. Then obviously we had the rain delay. Um, and we've been focusing a lot uh, during pre-season and coming into the season on ensuring that we're switched on from the very first whistle. Uh, and, and that was certainly the case when we came back from that rain delay. We started that period very strongly and I think probably played some of our best football during that break and, and obviously went 2-0 up. Um, but you know, we play Radford every year and, and, and they're a good team. They're a well-organised team, but they have a lot of character um, and, and they work very hard. Um, and they, they managed to, to get themselves back into the game in the second half. And, um, and you know, there were a couple of, couple of good chances that we had that didn't go our way. On another day, they might off, for example, Paula hitting the bar with a fantastic shot. Um, uh, but they, you know, as I said, Radford battled well and got back into the game. And it was quite a nervy finish, but, uh, but I thought we were composed and we showed a lot of character in the last uh, 15 minutes to, to see the game out and get the win. So we're very happy with the players. Um, a lot of good performances today and, uh, and a lot of positives to take from the game uh, leading into Sunday. Perennially, Radford has a good program. The series between you two has been competitive. You've come out on top more often than not. Uh, but talk about what a challenging non-conference schedule can do to help prepare you for the conference season. Oh, absolutely, yeah. There are so many factors that we try and include in our non-conference schedule to help us prepare for those conference games. Um, in terms of type of opposition, in terms of uh, locations we travel to and, and, and distances we travel so we can help prepare the players and, and, you know, and, and, and sort of execute our plan that we have for those conference games in the non-conference uh, schedule so we can tweak anything that, that needs amending. Um, but, uh, but it's certainly helpful, obviously. We, we, want, we want to be tested as much as possible in as many different areas as we can so, um, you know, so we, can, we can, as you say, prepare ourselves for, the, for what is going to be a challenging conference schedule we're really looking forward to the to, to playing in the SOCOM for the first time a lot of good teams um, a lot of good players so it's it's going to be challenging we're looking forward to it congrats on the win thank you thank you very much cheers yep.